Hi everybody, my name is Priscilla Hole and this is uh, going to be this week's uh, financial empowerment reading with the Osho Zen Tarot. Um, I'm just going to cover off very briefly the purpose at the beginning of this video of why I'm doing these. I'm doing it in each video, however, yeah, a little explanation at the beginning. I think it's really important to understand that there's a lot of power and energy related to how we uh, interact with money. and when we start to see what the money means to us, we start to see how much control it has over us, especially how we feel about it, how we've been raised with it is a really, really um, a key indicator. How your parents talked about money or didn't talk about money is a key indicator as to how you feel about it in your life. And then, of course, there's all this interaction that happens between um, your job, your business, if you have a business, or um, how you handle your credit card debt or a mortgage, or even just how you handle the bank and how the bank manages your money, so to speak. Because um, the irony of it is, is that we have been encouraged to hand our power away and let the bank manage our money. But that means that they're managing how we feel about ourselves around money. And so for me, it's about recognizing that the bank offers a tool to use to um, utilize for electronic transactions and credit use and so forth. However, if I'm allowing them to manage my money, I'm allowing them to manage me. And am I being managed in that way? Or and by, by them managing my money, they're managing me. It means that I'm not managing me and I'm not standing in my own natural sense of what's right for me and what's wrong for me. Um, so because our relationship with money is an extension of ourselves as well. So I'm going to draw a card and um, just make it really simple, of course. Uh, it's a, an interesting dynamic that we have when it comes to their finances. So here's a card for this week. And this card is called Change. And it's a powerful card in recognizing that when there is a lot going on around us, it's very, very easy to be caught up in the vortex of what's happening in the outer world. And our challenge is to come home into ourselves and be very present with ourselves um, around, around what's happening with our money. So the purpose or the point of this particular card is to recognize that when you don't go looking outside yourself I mean, you need, we need to go outside ourselves to ask for guidance and help, especially when we don't know something. But if we do know the answer to something or we do know what we need to do, it's about being the, in the eye of our own storm. Because sometimes when we forget to be centered and grounded, we are actually getting caught up in a vortex of craziness that is not necessarily our own. And so the recognition of this card is to come home into your center, ground yourself and, and look at the very core center of that yin yang symbol and ensure that you actually go, am I really balanced here? Am I really present to what's happening for me at this moment with my money? And, you know, let me just bring this card in a little bit closer for you because I realized what I was doing there. Oh, well, there you go. Should have brought it in. Anyway, there you go. Um, so as you can see, the further you go outside of this, um, the yin yang center, you can actually start to see how um, the vortex of energy starts to become a lot more, um, what I would term as whippy. Um, and by that, I mean, you know, you feel like you'd be pushed out and that means you're also pushed off center. So this is a really key time to have a good look at what's happening with your finances. Have a good look at whether or not you're feeling centered and grounded. If you aren't, it's absolutely, absolutely the time to slow down, take a couple of deep breaths, probably go and find you know five minutes to meditate and do a check-in of yourself and make sure that you're truly present and take a look at what's going on around you. And if need be, uh, maybe take some really small steps towards bringing everything back into alignment for what is right for you and um, where you're not giving your power away. The minute you step out of your center, you're not grounded, you are handing your energy out, your power out, and this is key about coming home and being centered and grounded. So I hope this is useful, I hope you enjoyed it, and until next week, blessings and uh, see you soon. Thank you.